Now I am with uh, one of the major players in Turkey, Interpet, and I'm lucky to be interviewing uh, Tutan Alut, who is the second generation owner of the company and business development director. Tutan, can you exactly explain to me what Interpet is doing? Sure, first of all, I would like to thank you for this uh, nice opportunity. Uh, as you put it, Interpet is a key player in the market, and here we are celebrating our 20th anniversary in, the, in this event. Uh, Interpet uh, has uh, more than a number of roles in this market. First of all, we represent 15 companies uh, you know, worldwide, uh, companies like OPW, Franklin Fielding, Goodyear, Duropipe, and we provide uh, dispensing and environmental products of our partners in, in this region. Uh, the second thing we do is we have our own manufacturing as well uh, for uh, certain uh, dispensing products and uh, we have our own ATEX approval. So we are the only company in Turkey to do this. Uh, the third thing we do is we install uh, piping systems, uh, we install vapor recovery systems, stage one, stage two, and, and as a last item that I can say, we are also offering uh, LED lighting technology and also a vacuum and acoustic uh, way of te testing tanks, uh, lines and leak detectors. So it's a, I can say, a combination of products and engineering solutions for the market. So Tutin, for someone that really doesn't know anything about the Turkish markets, can you describe how it is perhaps different to other markets, Europe or worldwide? Sure, well, Turkish market is unique in, in many ways. Uh, number one, uh, we have uh, more than 50 old companies. I really don't e even know the exact count by today. So it's a, it's, it's a major, major market. Um, when you uh, compare it with European markets, you're going to realize that in Turkish market, almost 90-95% of all the stations are owned by the dealers, not all companies. Uh, one other uh, distinctive feature in Turkish market is that in Turkey, we do not have supermarket chains. And that's why all companies are still operating in a large scale. Uh, when you look at UK, when you look at other uh, big European markets, you, you see that number of stations are, are decreasing and they are being uh, operated by more and more by the supermarket chains. In Turkey, it's the other way around. We don't have supermarket chains and the number of stations are still rap rapidly growing. The change in legislation that happened recently from 15 years contact contracts to five years contracts, how does that affect your business? Are you referring to the um, renewal of licensing contracts? Uh, it, it, was, it was a major movement uh, in the industry. Uh, with that law, uh, the dealers now can only sign up a contract with a, with a retailer for five years only. Previously it used to be, as you mentioned, 15 years. And now, down, now that it's down to five years, uh, the other smaller oil companies have, uh, have, mo have uh, participated more in the competition, I would like to say, uh, because previously the major oil companies would have longer contracts and the smaller oil companies would not have a chance to intervene in the market. Now it's the other way around. Now we have more competition in the market and I think that's the uh, main reason why we have a, such a great number of oil companies uh, in Turkish market. For any new supplier trying to sell their products in Turkey, what advice would you give them? Well, more than a couple of advices really. Uh, number one, Turkey is, is logistically in the middle of everything. So when they're coming into Turkey, when they are coming into Turkey, they should also consider that they can supply to the nearby regions as well. Turkey is a big market, very big consumer of uh, equipment and, and uh, systems. I would advise them to make sure that they have high quality products with the proper EN, EN uh, norms and approvals. Because Turkey is in, the, is in the process of joining European Union and we must have European norms on every products and systems that we bring into this country. So they must make sure that they have these approvals. They must make sure that uh, they have a really good understanding of the market which really is very sensitive about personal relationships and also pricing. Well, you can imagine that like every other big, big buyer in any part of the world, Turkey is also very sensitive in pricing. Of course, given that you have all the quality norms that you must have in Europe. Thank you very much for the explanation. Teşekkür ederim. Şey değil and you're welcome. So this is the last interview today and I'm here with Tamer Şengünül from Turpak. Turpak is the leading com company in Turkey when it comes to station automation and also vehicle identification systems.
So what are the dynamics in the Turkish market that you are dealing with right now? Uh, Turkey has about 15,000 stations and uh, there were no automated stations and uh, and Turkey was not regulated about uh, oil uh, st retail business and uh, government decided to regulate the uh, oil business. After that uh, decision, uh, 15,000 stations need to be automated in three years time. It means that 5,000, averagely 5,000 of them need to be automated every year and this brought us a huge business. Uh, so uh, we are trying to, uh, by the end of uh, June, they all need to be finalized, otherwise station cannot uh, sell the fuel. So it's a big pressure on top of us. This is one. Another one is uh, vehicle identification system is uh, our business, one of our uh, business, and we are installing 30,000 vehicle every month Still, I don't believe how do we do that, but uh, this is real and we reached about 750,000 vehicles. So this is the one of the most dynamic part for me in Turkey. There are not too many com countries in Europe where you can find service stations with 50 pumps selling 150,000 litres of fuel a day. So um, how is that good business for you? Yes, that, uh, that station also automated by our systems and uh, 150,000 liters sales a day yes it's really huge amount of uh, sales and there is no uh, customers queue on the on the stations because uh, we have also vehicle identification system uh, equipped in every nozzle and this is a good business because uh, 50 filling point has about um, uh, 150 or 200 nozzles and they are all equipped with our systems and 30 percent of the sales of, the, of that station is done by vehicle identification system so these filling is uh, refueling of the cars they are not stopping that actually they are stopping they are refueling and there are 50 or 30 30 i think pump attendants servicing to the, to the customer so customer do not block the station they just feel and go feel and go if if they want to buy something from the shop they stop at the sh shopping car park and they buy something and they continue there are, there is no inside payment they all pay outside and on top of that i want to tell you that this station also has a credit card payment on the on the station on the on the pump so customer may pay with their credit card on the pump so the cars are not blocking the station that's why they get the productivity and this is bringing us huge business of course Tamir some people would say that uh, having vehicle identification systems on a site um, prevents people from going into the shop um, what is your perspective on that um, yes at the beginning some people thought they also in Turkey the same but later on, um, after the year passed, we understood that according to the research of the oil companies done, um, with vehicle identification system, uh, st station sales are increasing. And while customers are parking and while pump attendants are refilling their car and they, have eas they can easily go inside the shop and uh, buy whatever they want to and they can come back. And also, uh, if shop is in a, in, a, in a good position, if it's a good, nice shop, and they have anyhow, the they, they customer anyhow goes into the shop. So th the oil companies understood that vehicle identification system is not any threat thing to uh, customer going inside the shop. On the other side, increasing the uh, number of the customers going to the shop. This is the result of the investigation uh, international companies done in Turkey. Thank you very much, Tamer. I thank you very much for your all time. Thank you.